welcome back everyone. My name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Spellforce 3 Soul Harvest. Where we left last time, we we're about to enter the Temple of the Light, and Something we are doing that now. As you set foot inside the ancient temple. A feeling. You look around, noticing the strange ornaments and unfamiliar architecture. The air itself seems fragile. Your legs tense as the plates beneath your feet suddenly seem frail as if made of glass. It is as though, by stepping through the broken gate, you left all worlds behind for another place entirely. A gateway between dream and reality. You feel it too, don't you? Yes. Something about this place is different. But we can't think about that now. Let's find the masked woman before it's too late. That's me. Out of the way. You're sure of this? Here we go. Okay. I'm just gonna pause for one sec. I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty. Sorry about that. Let's continue on our way to deal with the That's masked her. woman. General Arev, finally. Hiding again. Hiding again. You seem to be making a habit out of this. I'm not hiding. I was waiting for you. And no, don't worry. I won't run this time. Why would I? It's over. My men are already at the gate, together with the Horde of Souls. They are opening it as we speak. Nonsense. Only a Corrupted can finish Jakku. That's correct. Don't hit my healer. Uncool. Alright. Yes. Let's get some summons going. That AoE kind of hurt. What's the latest? I'm faded. Over here. We need to kill that portal. And we'll get another summon going right now. And she's back in. She's a deadly aura. And she's doing her movie around thing again. Just gonna open another portal probably. Just gonna kill it. That way nothing can come through it. And another time, at least. This is how it ends. This is it. Hey, Patience, not yet. Come on. And dead. Back to life. By the ancestors. My mind is still connected to the horde. If you want to kill me, then don't hold back. Then I won't, but I need to get the people away from this current situation. There we go. I think we're about to dispute her. Oh no, she has one more teleporty left in her. You know what we don't have? Uh, if we go into our characters, we don't have Whirlwind on our bar. We really should. We don't need that at the moment. There's nothing to kill with. Earthquake anyways. Thank you. 
unwed. What do you require? I think she's about to die. There we go. Impressive, but <coughs> pointless. The prophecy will come to an end one way or another. It won't. You're the lost corrupted, and you're finished. <laughs> so stubborn. You should have listened to your dead father, Aliani boy. <laughs> he was right. He wasn't. Keep telling yourself that. Yes. Only a... <coughs> only a corrupted can invoke Shao Dead's return. If there were none of us left, Jakku wouldn't happen. But I'm not the last one. Nor will I ever be. The pattern... <coughs> the pattern... cannot be broken. What's that supposed to mean? The seeds... in everyone. What did you mean? The seeds in everyone? I don't know. Maybe... Maybe there are more than just four corrupted. Maybe. Kayawu. Can you make sense of this? I... I can't. The scrolls are clear about that part. There are four corrupted, and they will lead the world to its end. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll have to think about this later. Come on. Let's find the gate and stop her sleepers before it's too late. What is Either it? way. Out of the way. I see some treasure. What's this? Empowerment, proficiency, focus, and health potions. Stick to the path. We can actually give uh, Kai Wu. No, we can't. He doesn't have any dexterity. To give him the brand of the hunter, even if we can more proficiency potion. Well, actually, if we have two proficiency potions, we could. Do we have two? We do not. I guess we could just give him to our main character, like normal. Because why not? Give him one more willpower, and. I guess. The Void Arrow? Doesn't really make a difference at this point of the game, I guess. Because, I mean, we're really close to the end. Oh! There are enemies, I didn't even notice. Let's just kill our way through. There's a strangely large amount of crescent left alive down here. A bunch of twisted ones and sleepers and infiltrators. But like, they're no challenge to our characters who are just carving through them. And here we are. Good thing I came prepared. The Horde of Souls. My party is gathered. Interesting. Did we leave a character behind? Oh, Kaiwu, I'm sorry. I forgot you. My bad. Good thing we didn't need healing, I guess. We did it. They're dead. So this is the horde. Tiara's breath. Can you feel it? This energy? Yes. A harvest of a thousand souls. And this portal must be the gate. Very cool looking portal though with like the weird sand and like corruption around it. We should destroy it. Actually, let's wait for the queen to arrive. Nothing good can come from this. 
We shouldn't do anything before the Queen and her scholars arrive. I agree. So, this is it. Wraith? What are you? How can my other character just not knock down because he's immune oh. to it? This isn't happening. <clears throat> Guardians. Wraith. What? What did you do? You opened the gate. I... I did. I suppose I owe you an explanation, don't, yes, don't I? Yes, you do. I just... don't understand. General. I always suspected that the God of Light can not only destroy, but also create new realities. Frankly, it... it was the only reason I joined this mission in the first place. And why I brought up the Jade Staff as a catalyst for the ritual. Because you knew that the Hibernian Prince had been experimenting with other realities? Yes. And that the God of Light didn't... <coughs> didn't grant his request. But why? Old Halu had the answer. <laughs> the Hibernian Prince's offering was flawed. All that... All that was left to do was to find out what kind of offering would win me the God of Light's favor. <coughs> and that's what the Masked Woman told me. Jakku. If I opened the gate to let him devour this world, he'd send me into another. But why? Why would you want another world? Isn't it obvious? Because I want them back. Atros and Jerobi. My wife and my son. The ones you lost in the blood burn. Yes, General. Because I was such a fool. I actually meant to tell you all about this at one point, but... <laughs> we never got the chance. I just... couldn't bear it, you know? Losing them. I thought time would make it better, but it didn't. And I wanted them back. <sighs> Needed them back. More than anything else. But not in this world, you see? Here... They are gone forever. So you sold us out to the Black Crescent in return for your family. It was you or them. I'm sorry. I thought only Corrupted can open the gate. I don't understand. I thought only a Corrupted could open the gate. What does that mean? Are you... a Corrupted? I don't know, Erev. <laughs> And does it matter? I'm leaving all this behind. Where's your new reality then? She had a trick to you. Well, where is your new reality then? You're still here. The masked woman tricked you, Wraith. Shagdad did. No, Erev, it didn't. It's already happening. This world, I can... feel it fading. I feel it fading as we speak. So you gave her the location of the temple? So you gave her the location of the temple, didn't you? That's how they got here before us. Right after the boy told us, yes. And I promised to finish the job if you should manage to beat the Crescent. Which you did. When did you do it? When did you do it? How long have you been betraying us? After... After the ritual, the masked woman, she, she reached out to me while I was searching for her. I turn away. I, I can see them now. 
there in the light. By the ancestors, what happened here? Wraith opened the gate. He fulfilled Jakku. What? But how? Why? Shaak had offered him a chance to live in a new reality where his family hadn't died. He struck a bargain and sold us out to the Crescent, but it doesn't matter. We need to find a way to stop the God of Life from entering Eo. You're looking at the gate. It's our only chance. Whatever is behind there, maybe there's also a way to stop this. I'm not forcing you to come with me. But I'm not forcing you to come with me. Stay or follow me, it's up to you. All I know is that I'm going. Fine. Then we're coming too. You don't have to do the... What other choice do we have? Sit on our asses and get eaten by a monster? No, General. You're right. A chance is better than nothing. All right. Then follow me. This isn't over yet. It can't be. Yes? It's on the ground. Oh, garbage items that oh, I gave to a wraith a long time ago. In we go to the City of Light. As you step into the roiling wall of light, you feel what little grasp you still had on reality slip away. Like the last bits of a dream just after waking. Everything dissolves, leaving you alone in the void of nothing. Tiara's breath. I guess we found Shagdad's home. A place between dimensions. Between dream and reality. What did you say? Nothing. I just... I, I think I know this place. And I'm trying to figure out why. I know what you mean. This tundra. I've been here before. Sometime. Tundra? Is that what you see? I see a tundra. I understand. This place conforms to our minds. Like some kind of shared reality between our own dreams and the God of Light's world. But as I said, I've been here before. And I think I know how we can get to the core of this place. Come. Follow me. Alright, let's go kill some things. There's some siphoned here to kill. Let's make it painless. I think I came prepared. You shouldn't be setting in melee. You're not very good at it. Oh, spark of the essence. Hmm. What's this? And a keystone. What? This stone. It helps us. Still can't believe he betrayed us. Well, he couldn't bear the grief, so looked for a cure. Still, I didn't think he'd have gone so far. You'll get a good return on your investment. If I must. This is it. General? Consider it done. One dead, Leave another me. to go. We're back in the dream world we started in in the beginning of the game. What do we have here? Got it. Okay. We have both gems. I don't think so. Let's look around. There's a way to get through, I just know it. More memories. More thoughts. This time, however, you realize it's not you thinking them. It's something else. Disassembling the core of your being. Carefully turning and inspecting the pieces. You feel exposed. Fragile. Like your skin is turned into glass. The God of Light is coming up. He's More a the same. very cool Are you model. Sure this is how we go deeper? Yes. We have to. Yes. Taba. Taba Segewa. The mayor said the orcs are headed for our village. Is that. is that true? Wait. Was that. my father? I. I heard someone else. It must be the God of Light. He's messing with our minds. We have to. wait. Do you hear that? Guardians, help us. Liar. 
You goddamn liar. You were supposed to protect us. You gambled with our lives. Such a cool character model. Just what I needed. Ancestors, help us. Look out! Did you not finish your summon? Why? He like gave up at the very end. Fighting orcs. And goblins. They must be done. Finally, some action. Let's get this over with. Let's be quick. Wraith betrayed us in the end. Unsurprisingly, I actually figured that out the first time I played through this and was completely not caught off guard when he did it this time. Again. I had suspicions the first, like, even before he betrayed me the first time I played through this area, when I did the first recording of this. And they were all confirmed. I actually thought the queen was going to betray us at a certain point too, but apparently she is not a betrayer. At least not to my knowledge. There's no definitive answer on whether she's a betrayer or not. She plays zero role in the end of this game. We deal a ton of damage to these guys because our two-handed person deals like 600 damage a hit to them because of her hammer and her skills. We have a Fleshkin Chieftain that we're gonna just pummel into the ground. We're also gonna summon a new Elder Demon whenever it's time. This fight's more of an endurance fight than anything else. It takes forever, though. Where do they come from? Must be projections of our struggle. The God of Light is testing us. Well, you're not afraid to put your own life on the line for the greater good. You could have just stayed back at the outpost, but you didn't. For the sake of my village, that's the hallmark of a great leader. Them for us. Dwarves this time coming through. I have your back. General, lead the way. You think I came prepared? Make it quick then. What's the latest? The totems! Destroy the totems! What is it? They must be done. He will summon extra things as we fight the totems, so you have to kind of multitask a little bit. Then you have to kill the sun's granite. Totems. This is it. What are you doing? Someone go kill that totem. General? Leave me. What is it? Over He's silenced or something? Must be silenced. Some of our spells came back. Oh, finally! 
Our goal here is to quote survive the rave or the waves. Survive the raves. That too. More summons coming in. Let's make it painless. Let's get this over with. Patience, not yet. No. I will pass what I needed. I should tell you how long these things lasted. Human time. We're killing humans. Let me quick. Humans are remarkably easy to kill, though. Of all the enemies, they're the easiest. Maybe orcs are a little bit easier. On your order. Those champions just got evaporated. They're all stunned at the beginning of the fight and then died horribly. Yes. Consider it done. If I must, make it quick then. Let's make it painless. What is he doing so close to the village? I don't get it, General. You said they wouldn't arrive before nightfall. Stop! Please! Just stop! Keep fighting! We can do this! More waves. They must be done. Move it. I'll keep the bastards off you. This is it. It's them for us. Hopping into the portal. I, I think that's it. Let's go deeper. One second, I have to clear my throat. Sorry about that. Let's continue on our way. The white City of light again. Holds you. Memories flash through your mind, from your childhood to your first days in the army, from that day in Imperia to your first audience with the Queen two weeks ago. You understand. This place is as much the God of Light as it is you. There it is again. Hello? Can you hear us? Silence. That's... That's also an answer. Uh, what's... what's going on? I can't move! It's... It's some kind of spell. They're dead. Egosh, Naima, yeah, they are all dead. And aren't the ancestors? Where did they come from? I called them. The God of Light let me. Wait, let me see if I can summon some more. We're allowed to summon creatures to do stuff for us. It's kind of cool, actually. All right, one tank. I'm fighting a bunch of spiders, so it shouldn't be that hard. Paragon will be in front. Yeah. 
just tarantulas too. They're not that hard to kill. This thing doesn't do as much damage as some of the other titans though. Or maybe it does, but it doesn't seem to do as much. It's like a slower attack speed, I think. It does tons of damage though. It does uh, pure damage. Per hit. It's giant. And there's one, two towers to kill. I think that wasn't all of it, General. There's more. Let's get a brood father. And what else we got? We can get pyromancers. Let's get, uh, oh, we can't get orcs. So, what else can we get? Kind of curious to see what we can summon up here. Let's grab a couple pyromancers. They do some shooting. They don't have very good resistances, mind you, but you know they do some shooting. Medics, griffins, catapults, nah, champions, no. Keepers are okay. Three sleepers. We can just get a bunch of sleepers. Yes. All right, let's roll in. We are carving through the spiders. There are two more towers to kill. That one. I don't think the sleepers can actually hit the top of the tower, but the brood father definitely Fire can. Burning. And so can the pyromancers. Alright, round three. I mean, I kind of just want to do two brood fathers. And then 600 worth of Arbalists. Because the range damage, I think, is the best. Also, we get so many of them per stack. Like, we have just a whole army of them now. We'll be swift. Commander. Open fire! And we're going to have so many spiderlings coming out now. What do they even do? 35 to 40 damage. They have 500 hit points. They actually have a shocking amount of hit points for a free creature. No defenses, though. Almost cut their way through. We have four towers to destroy. Sleepers are almost all dead. Infiltrators almost dead as well. All of our spiderlings are dying. And 
And I think that's the end of this fight. No, no. This isn't happening. This is a blind dream. I think that's it. Ancestors. How long does this go on? What if... What if there's no end to this place? What if we're going to be stuck here forever? Let's just get going. That's all we can do. Oh, got it. Next yes. portal. This. This time, there are neither memories nor thoughts. Your mind is blank. God of Light, Erev, Jakku. All concepts without meaning, not in this place. And yet, there it is. A glimmer in the void. This is your last chance to stop the fate that Wraith invoked. The last chance to clear your name by putting this right. You're approaching the core. I think that's it. This is the core. How do you know? I don't. I just... I can feel it. Let's find the God of Light. If there's a way we can still stop Jakku, it's here. But how? Do we... Fight that creature? If there's no other option, we'll try. Come. Yes. Oh my god, me. Tiara's breath. Stop. Stop talking. Ignore it. it it's not real. I know that. It just. It drives me insane! Hold on. It's... It's doing something. Mirror images of our group. But, uh, are they... Us? I don't know. They look like... Illusions. Hmm. They don't appear to be hostile. At least not yet. And neither does the God of Light. Yes. Still, keep your guard up. Huh? This is uncanny. This is uncanny. Hello? Can you hear us? Hello? Can you hear us? My home is gone. My comrades are dead. My mother is dead. And none of us. None of it would have happened if you hadn't gambled with our lives like we were just pieces on some fucking chessboard! Erev... It's... I can't! Erev... Erev... It's... I can't. It's not real, Kayawu. It's not real. Try to reason to the God of Light. Hello? Do you understand us? We've come to negotiate. Hello. Can you hear us? She trusted you with her life. You know. We all did. It's pointless. It doesn't react to us. No! Kayawu! We're stunned. Oh, as we kill shadow members, I guess it stuns us. Everyone's stunned. Oh, back to life here. What is it? This is it. Think we won? Almost won. Sweet. We're still stunned. This is bad news. Oh, we're back to life. Okay, we're good. We're good. Everything's fine. It's Kieran. I need help. Yes. I'm listening. Patience. Not yet. 
Some epic fight music though. Don't stand in the death cloud. What is it? It must be done. Dwarf is dead. <clears throat> Excuse me. Last enemy. I think. Wraith the traitor. Oh no, I lied. The masked woman is the last one. She's also the way hardest one. Can't remember what these do. I feel like they should be killed though. Oh, I lied. There's definitely more. There's a projection of me. It's a me, Erev. Twenty thousand hit points. I don't do very much damage, though. Apparently. Just about killed him. Because we're in its world. We're powerless, isn't it obvious? Violence doesn't work. There needs to be another way. <clears throat> You're right. I'm sorry, I... I just lost it. It's okay. I understand. The question is, what can we do? We need to stop this thing before it steps through the gate. We have to. Jakku is born within our hearts. The core is inside Shyogdead itself. What? Do you remember what my father said? Jakku is a storm of our own creation. The only way to stop it would have been from within our hearts. But what if there is another way to end it? Shyogdead is the result and the embodiment of our sins. So the sins of our hearts are also in its own. It's too late to clean ours. What if we clean Shyogdets? What I'm saying is, what if we have to confront our sins rather than try to kill them? So, are you suggesting that we enter that thing? What if it kills us? It could have done that already, couldn't it? Look, I know how mad it sounds, but if there's any place we can still stop Jakku from, then it's its core. Hmm, maybe you're right. It's not like we have many options to choose from anyway. Fair enough. Let's try. If we die, then that's it. If not, well, we'll see. In we go. You cast a last look at your companions before you step into the blue mist before you. At once, the God of Light engulfs you. White light fills your sight, and your body becomes lighter, thinner, Whispier, like a cloud dispersed by a breeze. You float away. Here. Why? Yes, Era. 
Here, the place where all roads meet. Wait, you can hear me? But... These are your own thoughts and not those of the puppet of your memory? I know, Era. It makes no difference. Who are you talking to, Tava? The Don Reapers are on our trail and we... Quiet, puppet. At least for now. I want to hear from Eren. Where are the others? Where are the others? In their own versions of this place. But they are irrelevant. This is about you. About us. I don't understand. This was supposed to be the God of Light. I don't understand. How the hell did I get here? Is this the God of Light? You are inside the God of Light. Or inside yourself. There is no difference. Are you Shayag did? But what's the meaning of this? Are you Shayag did? I'm afraid there is no simple answer to your questions. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's something else you need to see first, don't you think? The memory. What happened after we reached Cavill? Yes, Aerith. The last piece of the mosaic. We can finally go through the gate. Finally traverse the portal into our memory. General, wait. I, I can't. I, I can't go on. The outpost is just an hour from here. Please, Tava, you can do this. Do you want me to carry you? Oh, you've done that for the past four hours. No, let's... Uh, uh, let's find somewhere to rest. Please. All right. I'll find a place and make us a fire. Just wait here, okay? And keep your hand on the compress. Okay. What do we have to fight? Keep it up. Can't remember. What do we have here? No, no, we don't. There's no fights. This? this is the end. The end part of the game. We don't have any there. fights left to go. That could work. No killing. So, that's better, isn't it? Let's just rest a little, then we can go on. Uh, uh, Ma'am. Tava? Yes. I'm... I'm here. They're dead. They're all dead. I still... I still can't believe it. And Karen, my son... He'll be alright. I just know it, Tava. No, you don't know it. But thank you for saying it, General. You're... You're a good man. Karen, oh Karen, you, you get away from him. What? Oh God, it's you wounded. Let me. Stay where you are, ma'am. I, I got this. Colonel, you have to save your. I know, General. I know about the treasury, about your plan. The orcs told me after they massacred my comrades. What? Son, you're not thinking clearly. You need to... You betrayed us! Damn it, you led the Dawn Reapers right to us! I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, really? Then what about the treasury, huh? You let the orcs think that the Emperor had a treasury hidden below the village's main hall, knowing they'd come for it. You used us as bait. General... It... It wasn't supposed to happen like this. Of course not. What was supposed to happen was that you swoop in with your troops while the orcs ravaged the village. And my... Wouldn't that have looked good on the records? Rescuing a defenseless village? Taking out an entire horde of orcs with a single division? Maybe the crown would have given you that promotion you deserved after all. But no. It didn't work. Because the orcs attacked too early. They killed Colonel Ricks. Killed your men. They killed everyone in the village looking for a damn treasure that doesn't exist. Everyone's dead, General. Everyone. Dot dot dot. Silence. That's. That's also an answer. Karen, 
No, no! Ma'am, don't. Liar. You goddamn liar. You were supposed to protect us. You gambled with our lives. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. We, we were gonna intercept them, and then... Well, you didn't. Beat the portal. As Kieran's and Tava's bodies dissolve, it all comes back to you. Your feet trudging through the sand for miles, looking for the outpost, desperate to both find it and remain lost. The cry from your parched throat when you finally see a patrol, the black wave of sleep as the soldiers hoist your body on the stretcher, waking up in the tent and remembering nothing. You must want answers. I do. Is this really how it happened? Is this... Is this really how it happened? I used Cavill as bait? You know the answer to that, era. I did. Yes. It would have worked if the orcs hadn't attacked early. Blazes. I wanted to end the war. And it would have worked if the orcs hadn't attacked early. But it didn't, era. It didn't. That's why you're trying so hard to forget. How did Kieran survive? How did Kieran survive? He was bleeding out when I... When you left us. Yes, he was. Just like me. And I can't tell you how he made it. Because I died soon after. But frankly, something told me Kieran would pull through. My son. He was always a stubborn one. Stubborn and brave. Are you me, or are you Shag dead? I still don't understand. Why am I here, in my own dream? Are you me, or are you Shag dead? As I said, there is no simple answer to your question. Yes, I am Shao dead, the god of light. But at the same time, I am you, as I am every being in this world. You see, most of what you or the Aliani assume about me is true. Yes, I am a consequence. Yes, I appear when mankind succumbs to its sins. What you do not understand is that I am not merely the envoy of the end, but the potential itself. And I've always been and will always be with you. From the inception of existence to its downfall. Your, uh, potential. Yes, Era. I am the finger that tips you over the edge. The voice whispering that you fail. The tingle in your hands urging you to kill what you detest. I am vanity. I am greed. I am egotism. And it's your own thirst for me that gives me power. I'm not a monster, Error. I'm not some malevolent god. I'm merely the manifestation of your desire to end the world. But what about the corrupted? The gate? You influenced what happened. Did I? Didn't Iskrim always want revenge? Didn't Kirin always want to see you pay for what you did? Wouldn't Wraith Skadar always have given everything to have his family back. This is where the Aliani were wrong. Yes, they understood that the pattern cannot be broken, but they never understood why. It's true that there are only four corrupted at a time, but the pool is inexhaustible. Do you understand now? If Wraith hadn't agreed to open the gate, someone else would have. Maybe even you, Era. There is always someone, because I am in everyone. As long as mankind craves me, I will be there. As long as I am there, there will one day be Jakku. For your people, that day is now.
Everyone has the potential to be corrupted? Wait. You're saying that everybody has the potential to become a corrupted? Of course, Era. Everybody has weakness in them. Only the extent varies. But no matter how many corrupted you would have stopped, eventually, I would have found someone to pave the way for me. And why wouldn't I? Mankind wants me. Your history of wars and self-destruction stands testimony to that. You crave me. Crave the answers I give. Crave the salvation I promise. So, Jakku is... inevitable. Time has yet to prove otherwise. I can still kill you. What stops me from just killing you? Right here and right now. Kill me? We're in your own mind, Era. You might as well try to kill yourself. As for the outside world, I believe you have already tried, haven't you? You cannot kill me, just as you cannot kill the tides. I am an element of existence, just like them. I was there at its inception, and I will be there when it ends. I still don't understand what exactly you are. I still don't understand what exactly you are. What do you mean you are in everyone? I mean that I am part of your minds, your souls. I am an aspect of humanity, and Jakku is simply what happens when mankind surrenders to me. You're the manifestation of our weaknesses. Is that what you're saying? A simple way to put it, but yes. Where there's a stone and a flint, the potential of a spark starting a fire is always there, isn't it? But only when the flint strikes hard enough does the spark fly and the fire start. You are the stone error. I am the flint. Jakku is the fire that burns down the forest of your world. How come the Eliani believe there are only four corrupted? But how come the Aliani believe there are only four corrupted then? Because in their time, there were four chieftains who sought to open the gate. So you are the personification of my weakness. So you are the personification of my weakness. My corruption. That's why I'm seeing you. I don't know, Era. Why don't you tell me? Why do you see me? Why do you see me, Tava, Kirin's mother? The poor peasant woman from Carlo. Because I'm responsible for your death. Yes, Era. I'm here because you chose to gamble with our lives for a shot at glory. Your own men. All the people of Cabo. Did you ever imagine what it was like for them? When the orcs realized that Cabo didn't hold the treasure you lured them there with, they butchered the people, slowly, brutally, like animals. Oh, Aerith, how they suffered. Women, men, elders, children. The orcs made no distinction. How they suffered. But it wasn't supposed to happen that way, damn it. They weren't supposed to attack so early. And yet, you took the risk, didn't you? You took the risk because you wanted to show the Crown they were wrong about promoting the other general, and not you. Admit it already, Era. You are guilty as sin, and you know it too. Do you not? After all, you're still carrying this charm we... You're right! Blazes, you're right. I made a mistake. Believe me, it still haunts me every fucking day. But it doesn't matter, because I can't change what happened. I can't. What if you could? I... What? What if you could? What if there were a way to undo what you did? If I, in an instant, could make all this go away and exchange it for another world? A reality where all the suffering you caused never happened. Can you? You... you can do that? 
You know I can. Where do you think Wraith is now? Reunited with his family. I could do the same for you. No. I don't believe you. Why would you do that? Why? Oh, Erev, you still understand nothing. I'm a potential, not a monster. Jakku is the fate your world chose for itself. That doesn't mean that I enjoy devouring it. And believe it or not, I'm proud of you. You did what few people ever achieve. You confronted your demons. You realized how rotten, how far beyond absolution you are in this world. So, if I had the power to ease your pain, why wouldn't I? I destroy, yes, but I also create. I can absolve. You're manipulating me. This is a trap. You're trying to manipulate me. And here it is again. Your vanity. Erev, what makes you think you matter more to me than an ant matters to you? You're just one insignificant candle in an ocean of lights. Accept my offer. Or don't. It's irrelevant to me. What if I refuse? And if I refuse? Then you die, along with your world. The gate has been opened. You saw it yourself. I am devouring Eo as we speak. It's over. But what happens to our world if I agree? But what will become of my world if I agree? Nothing that isn't happening already. Your world will end as it's supposed to. A new reality? This new reality? What would it be like? Like the one you come from, except that those people who die because of you are still alive, because you never risked their lives for your shot at glory. Tava, Kirin, the people of Kavil, everyone alive. I cannot turn back time, Erev, but I can find a place where your faults were never faults in the first place. That or nothingness. The choice is yours. No, I deserve punishment after all I've done. No. I'd rather die with my mistakes than pretend they never happened. It just doesn't work that way. <sighs> if this is what you choose, then so be it. No! I... I warned you. There is no afterlife, Era. Not when Jakku is through. I made you an offer, and you refused it. Now, face the consequences. I stood up at the end. We're back in King's Vantage? And the Queen. Where? Where am I? You're in Greykeep. You're safe. But what about the God of Light? The gate closed itself. Eo is safe. What? But how? Well, after you and the others went through the gate, the rest of the Wolf Guard followed your example. Then suddenly the gate closed and some of you rematerialized in front of it. All in a strange kind of coma. Correct. We carried you back to Greykeep, but about half of those who came out of the gate are still asleep. What about the others? Catrus, Rera? I'm safe and sound, General. So is the Alyani boy. Rera and most of my men, however, are still asleep. But will they wake up? But they will wake up, won't they? They might, or they might not. Only yesterday, three sleeping soldiers died of starvation. I don't understand. What happened in the City of Light? I don't understand. What exactly happened in the City of Light? Alathiel? Well, 
The truth is, we don't know. But the more we think about it, the more it seems like Sheagdad's final test didn't take place in its temple. I suppose you also met it after we went into its maw? And it told you the truth about Jakku and offered you a new reality? Yes. Well, I've been thinking about the meaning of this ever since I woke up. And here's what I've come up with. Sheagdad didn't lie. Our corruption and surrendering to it invokes Jakku. However, we also have the power to overcome. And that's exactly what this last choice was. I'd like to believe that it was a false promise. That those people who accepted Sheagdad's offer did actually get what they were promised. At a price, that is. As Wraith's fate shows. What do you mean by that? Oh. Right. You don't know. Wraith Skadar was sighted in the Howling Steps two days ago. And according to the scout who found him, he claims to remember nothing. The Wolf Guard, Jakku, the death of his family. It's as though his entire memory was erased. How's that possible? I saw him dissolve. But how is that possible? I saw him dissolve into light. Well, we don't know. And we probably won't get the chance to find out. As he fled before the Wolf Guard arrived to arrest him. I don't understand. What does this mean? Nobody knows. Maybe the God of Light lied and it doesn't create a new reality, but exchanges oneself from the other reality into ours. Or maybe there's another explanation altogether. There will be plenty of time to ponder. Either way, to come back to Jakku. Maybe it's this choice that Jakku is really about. Do we surrender to our weaknesses and our mistakes, or do we confront them, no matter how hard it may be? Maybe if enough people do the latter, it's enough for Shagda to spare a world. It did spare ours. Will there be another Jakku? Will it be back? I don't know. It might, or it might not. I guess we simply have to live with the possibility. And what now? Hmm. And what happens now? Well, the first step is to pick up the pieces. We have started already. There were more survivors of the Dark Crescent's attack on the Aliani, and they have already begun reconstructing the village with the Royal Army's help. Also, the Exalted Father learned of the Dark Crescent's actions and agreed to join forces with the Wolf Guard to hunt down its remaining members. As for Windholm, so far the Prince is doing a good job under the guidance of the Rebels. The past few months were a long and arduous trial, but we won, even though it cost us. And for this, General, the Crown thanks you. I do. You've shown me that my faith in you was not misplaced, and that sometimes a second chance is all it takes. You are released from your duties until you have recovered or wish to return. After that, there will be plenty to do. Your Majesty? When you first came to Greykeep, you asked me why I chose you of all people. You said that there have to be better candidates given your past. I think I still owe you an answer, do I not? As you please, Your Majesty. Very well. The truth is, we all make mistakes. I cannot count how many I alone have made. The ramifications of some can be fixed. For others, they cannot. But either way, it is through our failures that we learn. And sometimes, those who have been broken know best how to mend. And that's the end of the game. I chose the other option last time, uh, and the game abruptly ends after you make that decision. Just goes straight to credits. So this was a cooler ending for sure. Uh, it has it had more lore and more story to it. That is going to end our playthrough of this game. It was a wonderful game. Uh, I had a little trouble getting to it in the very beginning, uh, but then it really ramped up, and I, I quite enjoyed it near the end. So the story was really interesting. The gameplay, I would only criticize the gameplay in the fact that your heroes become so powerful that armies are practically irre irrelevant so i mean that's where that ended up other than that though uh i'm going to be continuing our operentia playthrough and then we have to decide to or we have to find a new game to play i'm trying to stick away from higher graphical games because uh the computer i'm currently using is not really up to the task i have a computer price that i want to buy but i have to wait for a little bit to do that for now though 
I will leave you guys here as I ask at the end of every series. If you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing. Otherwise, I will see you all next time. Take care.